this over my kisser every week? Why don't you pour over your own? Put over Abbott's. I mean, after all, you're making a dunce out of me. Pay no attention to what me. What do you make? Me stupid or something? All right, all right, all right. I mean, I got a complaint to register. I'm going to register a complaint. Well, go ahead and register. I register when I vote. I might as well register a complaint now. Well, what are you doing to me, Bobby Wade? Don't get excited. Look. Comes out like this. He's like this here. I push a sire before my face. Oh, oh, oh. I'm a, I'm People a... are watching. How long have they been in? Well, so they're, they're in every home room. Take it easy. What are you worried about? Did you read that sign? Uh, that's okay. I don't smoke. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Mr. Fields, uh, we're uh, throwing a birthday party for Hillary Brook. Hillary Brook? Yes. Well, I don't care anything about your birthday party, just as long as you obey the rules. There's the new rules... But you're the... invited to the party. Well, that's had nothing to do with it. I'm very happy, but these rules and regulations must be obeyed. Number one, no cooking cabbage in the apartments. Number two, no noise, no parties, no dancing, no singing, no playing the radio after 9.30, no loud talking, no banging doors, and... Oh, boy, will we have fun tonight at the party. No, heavy... gonna happen. What do you mean, nothing's gonna happen? Well, you got a lot of nose there. Can't we have some fun? I don't like parties anyway. Oh, come on, you're gonna come. I'm gonna invite you to the party. I don't like parties. They remind me of my age. Oh, forget about that. I don't mind those things. How old would you take me to be? Oh, I'd say you're about 39. I'll take that. I'll take it. You snapped at it. <laughs> you snap. Hey, uh, what is that no party thing, though? Well, the no party thing means just what it says. You can have your party tonight if there's no loud radio playing after 9.30. <laughs> See you at the party, boys. Good. Now, you go ahead and invite Hillary Brook to the party. Go ahead. Nobody home. Hello, oh, Hillary. How you been? I'm fine, thank you. Why don't you take off your hat? Thank you. I think I will. Uh, Hillary, here's things I want to talk to you about. Oh, fine. Just sit down, Lewis. Huh? Sit down. Eddie? No, thank you, but why don't you have one? I've, I've got plenty. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lewis. I came over here because I have to invite you to the party tonight. It's your party. Oh, Lewis, how sweet of you. Well, you see, Ab and I are going to give you a party tonight, and we want you to be the guest of honor. Oh, I'd love to go. Not only that, Hillary, but we bought you a wonderful present. Oh, Lewis, I, I don't know what to say. I'm not going to tell you what it is because it's a secret. And another thing, Abbott would kill me if I told you what it was. But Hillary, what I really want to know is, would you do me a favor? Oh, of course I will. You see, we got to go to the market to buy all the food for the party tonight, your party. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to know maybe, would you babysit for me tonight? Oh. I mean this afternoon. I would love to. Bingo, you'll mind them? Oh, I'd love to mind Bingo. Because he likes you. I love Bingo. But I forget, tonight's the biggest night of your life. Oh, party. I'm looking forward to it. What a wonderful present for you. Well, goodbye. Oh, 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 Lewis. Uh, aren't you going to kiss me goodbye? Huh? Huh? I said, aren't you going to kiss me goodbye? Kiss you? Yes. Hillary, I, I like you very much. I like you more than any other girl that I've ever known in my life, Hillary. But when it comes to kissing you... Oh, oh. You know, every time I kiss a girl, and it ain't often, it doesn't seem to do nothing. I don't have no effect on a girl. Oh, Lewis. Oh, now, now, why don't you try it with me? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Oh, come on. Kisses affect you like that? No, Lewis. You were standing on my foot. Oh, boy, 
that's the point. Now, let's see. That's why I like to come to the we market. Got, we got pickles, we got frankfurters, beans, ketchup, uh, bananas, bread. Yes, we're all... Uh, we... Hey, feel the Sherman. Feel us? I'm going to invite her to the party. Hey, but ain't feel us. Now, look, you do the rest of the shopping. Get some uh, dessert or something for here. Okay. Hello, Felis. Hello, Fun. What's cooking, good looking? I want to ask you a question. What do you want to waste time for? I got all the answers. Felis. <laughs> Don't take those for a buy them, they're all four. Ah, oh, you kidding. That's the way I always do my shopping like this. Uh, you don't see any of them falling, do you? Take them from the top, that's when it's... I just jumped across the street to buy something special for the party tonight. What time is the party? About 8.30, but you don't have to buy nothing. We're buying everything here. 8.30? What time is it now? 12 o'clock. 12? You're wrong. You better set your watch by the big clock up there in the wall. Yeah? Best way to keep the time. It's it's four o'clock. Nothing like being accurate. Six o'clock. Boy, did this afternoon go fast. Always eat. Can't wait for the party. Why don't you blow your horn? Why didn't you stick your hand out? I was... Where are you going? I'm sorry. Wrong head. <laughs> I wish you'd come to the party tonight. I guarantee you'll have a marvelous time. Rick. Oh, lady drivers are all alike. Clumsy ox. Hey, see there. What's the matter with you? Hi, you feel us? Hi. Feel us. Hey, I got a lot of stuff in. Yeah, I can see that. You forget anything? No. How about some cigarettes? Never use them. How about a cigar? Never use it. How about some wine? I never use it. How about a bar of soap? I never use it. Hey, hey, Get yourself hey. out of that one. Smart kid to use. Go ahead, put the stuff on the counter. Invite it to the party? Uh, yes. Uh, but uh, she don't want to come. I don't know why. Feel us. I wish you'd change your mind. You have a lot of fun. Sure you will. You dad class to the party. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll have a lot of fun. You're witty and you're smart. I'm listening. Not only that, she's a, she's a girl. Certainly. You know I like it, you. You know? You like a girl? Huh? Will you stop? Put the stuff up there. Every time I look at those beautiful eyes of yours, they remind me of two... Tomatoes? Tomatoes. Uh, will you stop it? <laughs> yes, all right, put them down. Good, good and nice ones. Yes, put them down there. And your ears. Those two dainty little ears. Oh, I can see nothing but... Cauliflower. Of a cauliflower. Cut it down. Hey, I'm a cauliflower. Put it down. <sighs> hey, all right, all right. Fight a cauliflower ear. <laughs> and your hair. 
That gorgeous wavy hair of yours. Every time I look at it, I can see string beans. String beans every time I. How much it costs? You mark them down. String. I want to know how much it stuff costs. Never mind. She'll tell you in a minute. How much it costs? String beans. Later. Later. Please. I think she's intriguing with you. Wait a minute. Oh, awesome. Look, Bud. Why don't you just forget it? Now, Felix, I'm on the level. Believe me, everything I'm saying is strictly baloney. Baloney. I. <laughs> play it now. No, no, not now. We'll use it to entertain the folks. And also for dancing. Then, then after that, we give it to Hillary for a present? We'll surprise Hillary with it. See? That's, a, that's a beautiful one. Oh, yes, yes. That'll be fine. She will love us. We're going to play games, too. What kind of games? Oh, all kinds of games. Oh. Didn't I ever tell you about my handkerchief trick? Oh, wait a minute. You've got to see this one. You see, we have a handkerchief here. Now, the idea of this is, I placed this on the floor. See, I'll explain it to you up here. Now, you stand here on, on the handkerchief, on that side. I'll stand here on that side. And you can't hit me. Can't even touch me. I get right. What? You stand here. And I'll stand over here, and you can't even touch me. I'm going to stand over here, you're going to stand over there. And you mean I couldn't even put you in the nose? No, and no. And I'm going to that far apart? That's right. No, 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 no. no, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Put the handkerchief down. Are you kidding? Well, we'll make it interesting. Go ahead. I'll bet you 20 cents. But you can't do it. Okay. 20 cents. Put it down. All right, I'll place this on the floor. Yeah. And you stand on one side, and I'll stand on the other. Oh. Come on, now watch it. There's the handkerchief. Yep. Now here's the floor. <coughs> now, keep your eye on it. Now, you stand on one side, I'll stand on the other, right? You, I stand on like that. Now, now there. Hold it. You got it? Now you stand right there. <laughs> yeah, are you standing on the handkerchief? Yeah! Go ahead, try and punch me in the nose. Go ahead. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Can't do it, eh? So you couldn't do it, eh? <laughs> uh, how do you like that? Is that a dandy? <laughs> ah, you what, what? What are you going to do? What's what? Now let me get this straight. I stand on one side of the handkerchief, you stand on the other side of the handkerchief. And you want to bet me 20 cents that I can't punch you in the nose? You got it straight, Mr. Fields. I'll put the handkerchief down on the floor. See, I stand on one edge of the handkerchief, you stand on the other edge of the handkerchief, and I'll bet you 20 cents you cannot punch me in the nose. I'll hold the money. There you are. There's the money. Come on, put up your money. <laughs> There's my friend. Come on! <laughs> oh, there's a Lulu, there's a Lulu. Let me close the door now. All right. Now, what I tell you, now stand on the edge of the handkerchief. All right. Do you want the edge of the handkerchief? Yeah. Now, go ahead. Try to push that off. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. And you know what today is? Today is Hillary Brooks' birthday. You didn't know it, you see? You Hillary like... Brooks' birthday! Certainly. You shouldn't forget those things, Lou. Oh, boy, yeah, but I would love to give Hillary Brooks a nice birthday party. Hey, now, that's a beautiful thought. Can't, though. What do you mean you can't? What's to prevent it? You know, the landlord, Mr. Fields. Oh, worry about... He don't like us to have no parties. You know that. Yeah. He's always complaining about the noise we make in the room and everything else, and he won't let you have any parties. There's a reason for everything, Lou. I don't know, but I don't know what his reason is why he won't have any I'll parties. I'll tell you the reason. Yeah? You let him get away with all these things. You're afraid to speak up to him. Stand on your two feet and talk to him. Yes, I want a party, and that's what it's going to be. You think so? Certainly. And you see, he'll... With it right there. My goodness, for you have what? I'm not afraid of Mr. Fields. What do you mean you're not afraid? I am I'm... not afraid of Mr. Fields. Don't tell me that. Well, I want to tell you something right now. I'm going to prove that I'm not afraid of Mr. Fields. Prove it. Yesterday, in the room, yeah. the water was running over the top of the bathtub, under the floor. Yeah. <laughs> so what happened? It was running outside of the bathtub, all over the floor. So I went over to Mr. Fields' apartment. Uh -huh. I opened up the door and I said, Mr. Fields? The water is running over the bathtub, onto the floor. What are you gonna do about it? You, uh, you told that to Mr. Fields? I told that to Mr. Fields. What did he say? I don't know. By the time he got home, I was fast asleep. That's right. <laughs>
Well, folks, you know why we're here. This is Hillary's birthday. And may I suggest a toast? Hillary, may you live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. Thank how's you, Bob. That's all good. That's all good. I that's thought that was a very good toast. Sure. Hey, Hillary, don't I look like the little housewife? Oh, you certainly do, Lewis. I think I do. You know what? I think I'm engaged. Uh. Oh, Lewis, congratulations. Who too? Frankly, I don't know. But you see, this morning, I was in Mr. Fields' apartment and I was helping his wife wash the dishes. Mm. And I was bending over the sink like this and I was washing the dishes and the milkman came in and kissed me. Oh! I think I'm engaged to the milkman! I'm only kidding. Give me old Coney Allen hot dog business. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, you mean with the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. uh, Mike, would you like a hot dog? Oh, yeah, I love Wheaties. <laughs> yes. Uh, do you want some mustard? Oh, yeah, lots of mustard. Yeah. Like plenty of mustard? Yeah, lots of mustard. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, that's your good. These are real good hot dogs. Yeah. There you are, Mike. Thanks. Thanks very much. <laughs> well, hey, Mr. Westbrook, maybe you like a hot dog? Oh, I like it. Sure, like a hot dog. Yeah. Yeah. You like what's the last group? Oh, nice and mustard. Okay, please have plenty of money. Baby, baby. Hey, well, my man. Yeah. Enjoy. Hey, 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 h
next time I come in here, if I have to, I'm going to get rough. Keep it off. I can play no more. Go on and play it. What are you worrying about? I'm here. What are you doing instead of sitting over there? Now, wait a minute. Just because you two want to play, I don't want that. You've got guests here. They want to dance. Mr. Fields said, don't play that kind of rule. Don't That's play it. That's your whole trouble. You listen to Mr. Fields. Listen to me. Who's your buddy? You, Bill. That's all. Why don't you get your buddy off that there thing over there? Come over and help me when the guy's... He's coming around and send me all over the joint. Ah, stop. He's only kidding. He can't get away with that stuff. I'll stand right by here. Go ahead and play. Go on, dance, folks. <laughs> Go on and play. Stop worrying about him. Who's I'm it? here. Who's it to get? I wonder. Let a guy like that get away with that. like your partner. Look how he sits. A gentleman, quiet, doesn't make any trouble, but no, you! Now, if I have to come in here one more time, I'm gonna punch you right in the nose! Did you hear me? In the nose! Swine! Oh, you imbecile! You will listen to him. Hey, what's the matter? What's the matter? Hillary and I want to dance some more. Turn it on! It's a big idea. What's a big idea? Come on, turn it on. We want to dance. I want to dance. I'm telling him. Look, Mr. Fields don't like me to turn the music on. He said he'll punch me in the nose. Punch you in the nose. Come on, I want to keep dancing with Hillary. Punch me in the nose. Let me tell you something, Mike. Nobody can punch me in the nose if I don't want him to punch me in the nose. What do you I'm mean? Don't punch you in the nose. I'm a piece of guy. Nobody can punch you in the nose, huh? <laughs> hey, nobody can punch me in the nose if I don't want them to punch me in the nose. They can't, huh? Would you like to make a 20 some bet? About what? You can't punch me in the nose if I don't want you to punch me in the nose. And I'll show you a very simple standing like that. Get out your 20 cents. Get give out your 20 cents. Give the 20 cents, cents to Mr. Abbott. All right. I'll give I'll him give the 20 cents. All right. Go ahead. Right. Hey, Abbott, right. right. let me have the handkerchief for a minute, please. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> now, you see what I do? All I do... <laughs> What's so funny? What's so funny? <laughs> Wait, you now, I put the handkerchief on the floor. Now, you stand on that edge of the handkerchief over right there. Here. And I stand on this side of the edge of the handkerchief. Now, you go ahead and try and punch me in the nose. Oh! <laughs> Wait a minute! What are you doing? I'm going to show the whole thing now. You can't punch me in the nose by standing on the handkerchief. Now what? <laughs> I'm going to put the handkerchief right there like that there. Now you see? you got to stand on one edge of the handkerchief, I'll stand on the other edge of the handkerchief, and you cannot punch me in the nose. Uh -huh. I'll put it on the other side. Right on the side. Like that. Now, now, just you should stay over there. What are you doing? Now you get ready. Now stand on the edge of the handkerchief. Are you ready? Yeah. You stand on the handkerchief? Yeah. Well, go ahead. Punch me in the nose! Well, you did it again. Go and ruin a beautiful party. A beautiful party just because you're jealous disposition. Well, I can't help it. You were dancing with Hillary. Now, why should you be jealous of that? Because she's a girl of my dreams, Hillary. Ah, stop it. Why break up a party because I dance with her? I don't mind, though, bud. I don't mind. You don't mind? No, bud. You can have Hillary. What? What, what, what happened? I found out today at the party that her father's a very, very wealthy man, and that makes Hillary a very, very wealthy girl. So and what? I don't want to marry no wealthy girl. You don't want to marry a wealthy girl? Uh-uh, uh, -uh, uh, -uh. Why not? Why not? She's apt to run away. Well, uh, a poor girl's apt to run away, too. But who cares? Who cares?